Hello plant people. Thank you for joining me again. Today we're talking about Hoyas. Hoyas, 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 Hoyas. I love me some Hoyas. They're just the most gorgeous plant. They're so varied. Look at this Filosa. It's, you know, look at those leaves. They're furry. The shape is amazing. The veins. Look at that Jennifer and then look at this Polynuria. It's just those leaves are just to die for. I don't know. I love, 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 love Hoyas. And what's even more amazing is that Hoyas love semi hydro. They do. They do. They love growing in Lekka. It's just crazy. I've got my Royal Hawaiian here. It's been in Lekka for a number of months now. Look at this girl. Look at her go. It, she's just amazing. Look at those roots. The roots are insane. It is insane. This one is getting a bit root bound actually. I might have to repot her soon, but uh, that's a problem for future me. Uh, but yeah, they're just gorgeous and they do really, really, really well in Lekka. And this, this is the setup that I've got for her. She's living in a clear pot. As you know, I love clear pots and you can clearly see what's going on with the roots. So it's just the best way to go. And because I have so many plants, um, I can't get gorgeous cash pots for all of them. It would just cost too much money. So what I do is I get these um, plastic like food containers, anything you can get from a $2 shop. I cover them up with black tape, like literally painter's tape from the $2 shop again or from, from your hardware store. And that prevents light from going into there so I don't get algae in my setup because I do not like algae. That is a talk that we'll have another time. But today we're talking about Hoyas in semi-hydro and how you do that. So I've got a few Hoya, little Hoyas here that I've obtained recently. Um, I had a lovely shopping spree with a friend of mine at this lovely, lovely Hoya heaven here in Melbourne. And I've got these plants and they need to go into semi-hydro because I do not do soil in plants that are small enough to go into semi-hydro. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So again, like last time, gloves, 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 because I don't want dirt under my fingernails. I'm all gloved up. I'm going to get my potting tarp. We'll get the soil off and get these plants into Lekka. I've got my potting tarp and I am now going to remove the soil from this, like these plants. So gentle squeeze, very gentle squeeze. Get that off. So very gently taking as much of the soil off as you can, ever so gently, because you don't want to damage the root system. And yeah, as much as you can with your hands. And then after that, we will go to the water and actually wash most of that stuff off. So that's what I was able to get off. We are now going to wash them off in the sink. So remember, you've got your plug in your sink because you don't want any of this organic matter going down your drain. Warm water, warm water, not cold, and you know, washing that off as much of the organic matter as you can. Hoyas can be a bit tricky to wash off, to be honest with you, I find them the hardest to do because they tend to be growing in a medium that's usually pretty barky and some of the roots can be a bit small and sometimes it's a bit difficult to get the bark off the roots. So I find that I have to do a lot of rubbing. So I rub the roots between my thumb and my finger to try and get as much of the bark off as I can. Um, Whereas other plants tend to be more 
you know, it tends to be more soil or perlite. So it's not as sparky, not as difficult to get off. But anyway, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. What can you do? Poyers love liquor. So, you know, you gotta give the Hoya what she wants. So again, take this opportunity to give the plant a nice little wash. Who doesn't love a little wash? And then, so as you can see, so just really keeping an eye out and taking as much of that off as you can. So there, see? That's what you're sort of going for. Okay, our plants are now washed off and they look spectacular. I just love, love, love looking at roots. Grow pots with the ventilation holes put in. I've got my lecker that's been pre-soaked in GT Clonex clone solution. So it is primed for root, major root growth. And away we go. So again, we are putting about a third of that pot full of liquor. And I like to put that back in there. So it's right at the bottom, so I know what plant is what. So this is the Jennifer. Thankfully, I still remember what Jennifer looks like. So Jennifer, this is Jennifer. So I will then put Jennifer in there. So Jennifer's roots, are sitting right where the liquor is. I've positioned the plant to the trellis and all I need to do now is fill that pot with liquor, fill the liquor all around, fill it up and that should be it. So again, we, we don't want any dead space. So especially making sure that the space behind the trellis back there. Just make sure you get liquor there as well. You don't want any dead spaces, remember? You want that capillary action to be working for your roots. You want all the nutrient goodness to be going everywhere and all your roots to be growing. So I just like to give my pot a little squish just to make sure the liquor goes everywhere. Let's put all that in there. And that's Jennifer. Jennifer is good to go. So these plants are now sitting in their cup. And they're going to be, so this is the grow pot that the plant's living in. It's going to go in the cash pot. So like I said previously, I just use, you know, food containers. And I cover those up with black tape to prevent light hitting the nutrient solution. And that stops algae from growing. But I've got this one that I haven't covered in tape yet, just so I can, so I can show you how much of the nutrient solution to put in. So this is my growth technology Clonex clone solution that I use when I've just transferred a plant from soil to liquor and that just helps the roots, uh, water roots develop. So as you can see, I can actually probably put more. So the level's over there. So if I, I put about a third so the roots are starting, the roots of the plants are about there. So it'll still be fine if I put more. So that's probably okay. That's the kind of level that you're looking at and that's how that plant will sit. It will sit in that cash pot and those roots are going to start, you know, the lecker will absorb that nutrient and that solution. Those roots will latch onto that and then you'll start 
to have leca roots developing and then after a few months um, the, leca, the, the plant will be completely acclimatized to leca and will be happy to live in a semi-hydroponic uh, situation. So yeah, that's, that's how I transition my plants, my hoyas from soil to leca. I hope you enjoy that video. Thanks.